What's up, Takeover Gang? It's your boy, Daniel. And it's your girl, Maya, and we are back with another MD Takeover video, brother. Indeed, we are. Let them know so, what we're doing. Today, we're doing another cooking video because I know y'all loved the last time we cooked, but today, we're doing something a little bit different. So, today, we're going to be making chicken masala. So, we're making some Indian food. So, this is something Maya actually introduced me to years ago. Introduced me to Indian food back when we lived in Houston. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so ever since then, it's been something that I love, uh, something that I meal prep for lunch. So we're going to get into it. Let's go. So just so y'all know, um, I'm not making it from scratch because it's a weeknight and you've already got things to do. So I'm making it from this pack. It's made by Walmart. It's not my favorite one, but it gets the job done and it still tastes good. There is a brand. Uh, we may have to put it down below or something. That's like an actual, well, it seems like it's made by like an Indian company. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna be using this. We're gonna make it real quick, and so let's get into it. So we're back with Linda. Hi. Special guest Linda. So I'm gonna be starting off. I have it. Uh, I preheated it. It's on medium heat. I don't want it to be too hot. I'm just gonna start with like two tablespoons of oil. Oh yeah, she's good now. Um, Gidra making another appearance, and I'll put a little bit of Gidra's in there just to add some flavor. We had it left over, so you know why not? I'm not gonna put much in there. Wow. Well, she hot, hot. She is. She hot and ready. Little <laughs> Caesar's. She looks fragrant already. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just trying to lose it down, cause girl. I'm gonna also get into some uh, minced garlic. So you can see. Put a little mint garlic in there, have much you please. I tend to love garlic, so, you yeah, know. <laughs> Put that in there. You yeah, know. Pusale, mommy, pusale. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot, we ain't Indian. We not, we not, uh, we not Latino America. So yeah, I'm just gonna let that get fragrant. Oh, that's so good. I really want them to cook down, like they want to be like a wild. I really want them to cook down, me like a wild. And like I told y'all in the last video, I believe it's season at every step. So I'm just gonna add a little salt, not much. A little salt, a little pep pep, a little pep pep. I hate it for y'all to see me cook. Bruh. <laughs> um, just believe it's gonna come one of these days. Baby, what instructions? Oh, <laughs> you just gonna be throwing something up? Okay, y'all better pay attention. So in, so in the pack that Walmart has, it has these spices in here. It's like a bay leaf, a little cinnamon stick, um, a little chili pepper, and something. Something else. It says spices for tikka masala. Yeah, I read it. I know oh. what I'm doing. Thank you. Okay. So you want to add these in with the oil. You're going to let that cook good. Add it in with the people Earl. Earl. And you want to let that cook for about five minutes with those spices in there. Oh, I smell that cinnamon stick. It smells quite good. It smells right good. Mm-hmm. Alright, so while that's cooking, I'm gonna step over here. I'm gonna grab me a little glove. Not the uh <laughs> it's the glove for me. And I'm gonna grab Not my bowl glove. of chicken. Ooh, lady glue. <laughs> so what I have here, I have about two to two and a half pounds of uh, chicken that I've diced. And then also in the little Walmart pack, they have this thing and I love it. It tastes so good. So it's a ginger garlic paste. I already put one pack on there. I'll put the second pack on there. Um, and so while that, those spices are cooking, I'm gonna let this paste sort of marinate my chicken. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'll make sure you get all that because that's flavor, it's good. It's good in the neighborhood. I used to work at Applebee's, y'all. So every now and again, I make Applebee's reference. I don't intend to. So you want to make sure you get that right, right mixed and and well, so it can be well in your soul. It smells so good. It smells good, sis, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> about right. All right, and then with your chicken, I mean, you can dice your chicken to whatever size you want. I have them fairly large. The only thing you want to make sure with your chicken is that you just dice them rather evenly, so that they cook evenly. Obviously, if you, have, if you have larger pieces, they'll cook faster. I mean, they'll cook longer. Smaller pieces will cook faster. 
But you want them to cook evenly. Take it, Glover. I feel a sneeze in my spirit. Mm -hmm. Never mind, it went away. Mm. Have a little shine on. Mm. So, come, come get a piece of this pie. This look right about nice. That cinnamon stick just smells so good. It smells so good. So good. Okay, so now I believe I might need my chicken. I'll turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna turn it back up. And we can get our chicken into here. So you wanna in, get all your chicken into the pot. Make sure you get all that sauce as well, that paste. Put that over there. And then spread your chicken out. Make sure you get your chicken coated in all of those spices and vegetables you got up in there. Oh, all of this, all of this sizzle just went away. Mm -hmm. I might move it up to medium high. Mm -hmm. that, chicken cook. that sneeze is just lingering in my spirit. It smells good though. It has like a, there's like a almost sweetness in the air uh -huh. from that cinnamon stick. It smells right about good. So yeah, I'm gonna let this get back up, do what it do. I tried to spread the chicken out so it could cook all evenly. like the first day since school got out that I just had a second to just be. I took a two hour nap and it was like, no, no, no. But um, with the chicken, basically all you wanna do is just get a little color on it. You don't have to uh, make sure it's cooked all the way to 165 degrees. You just wanna get some color on it because it's gonna finish cooking with the sauce. So we're working on it. I turned the pot up some because, look at that chicken. Chicken so white it got more privilege than I do. <laughs> We're just starting to get a little color on it. That garlic and the ginger is real fragrant. I wish y'all could smell it. Just smell it to that pot real quick. I know y'all can't smell it, but act like you can. Woo. Yeah, just have about that. Have about that. Have about that. Have about It looks so good. <laughs> All right, y'all, so what I've done now is I've taken the chicken out. It kind of browned a little bit. It didn't brown as much as I would like to. It still had a lot of liquid in there from, um, just from the you chicken. You broke that until it's wet. It's hot, and I'm, I'm warm, um, mm. so yes. So now what I have in the pot is I have, um, it's that, that ginger and garlic paste with some of the herbs in there. So what I want to do now is I'm going to deglaze the pan. Um, I love cooking with wine, so I'm going to deglaze it with a little uh, with a little wine. I'm only going to put maybe about a tablespoon or so in there. Yeah, that looks about right nice. I'm going to turn my fire up because I want the alcohol to cook out of that wine. Oh, it smells fragrant already. And I want it to sort of, I want that garlic paste and that ginger paste to cook into the wine. I, I like cooking with wine because the, the wine sort of adds a richness to um, whatever you're cooking and it kind of enhances the flavor. As long as you don't do too much, if you do too much, then it becomes overpowering. You have to make sure you have enough protein and fat in there to sort of neutralize the tannins in the wine. Um, just like that pasta I made, I think I put too much wine in there. Hey, got drunk from the pasta. All right. So yippee ki yay. So yeah, that's looking nice. It has a decent color. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. So we got a decent color. It's almost like purplish. Don't be afraid of the color, because I still got to put the masala sauce in there. I just want that to cook down just a little bit more. That's how you know you're gonna eat well when you got your little food dance for your food even ready. 
Also, I'm gonna add a little more seasoning just because of not. One thing about the store bought, um, the store bought, what you call them? The sauces and stuff, especially Indian food. Indian food, one thing I love about it is it's rich in spice. spice and 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 herbs and all that, but that be lacking in the sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more curry powder, a little bit more cayenne, and some chili powder just right now. And then after I add the sauce, then I'll sort of taste. You can adjust again. Don't ask me how much. Just season, season, season to the Girl, Lord. Just season. throw it in the pot. Just <laughs> throw it in the pot. The curry smells so good. I like it spicy. I like the cha cha with my seasonings. I like the cha cha. Oh yeah. So you see how that is sort of forming a paste almost. That's what you want. Cause that wine has reduced quite well and it's incorporated with that ginger and garlic paste. So now we're gonna add the masala sauce. The masala sauce, the masala sauce. Also y'all, this ain't no authentic masala. This is just a, a weak night meal. So don't come for me. Don't come for us in the comments, please don't. We just hungry, <laughs> I'm sweating. Child, I just can't keep still. You nervous and you trembling and all that too? I ain't saying nothing about the nerves. No. Make sure you get all of the sauce too. You pay for that. Get your money's worth. Yes. Come on, let's sweat. Baby. The music is going to go. And you know what I'm going you know to do? If you grew up in a black household, you know about this. Put that water in there, <laughs> baby. Get all that out of there. Mm -hmm. Take a little water. Mm -hmm. Swish it around. We ain't gonna waste no spices, no herb, or nothing like that. And then you got it. What you gotta do? This how you really know you uh you grew up in a black household. You gotta play crisscross with the two. Oh. Trying, I'm kind of struggling. I see. This ain't no can. I see that. Want to make sure you get all of that goodness, and then you pour that in there. So all I'm gonna do is just let this, I'm gonna give it a stir, let that paste we had before sort of incorporate in there. And then I'm just going to let it come to a boil and then I'm gonna add the chicken in there. Don't ask me why, that's just what I felt like doing. It smells so good. So good. I just can't tell it all. Okay, so as you see, it's starting to come to a boil. That's fine. It's looking real nice and dandy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken in here. I just put the chicken back in that same bowl. Because the chicken not cooked all the way, so it's fine. Don't y'all come at us in the comments about no salmon and no nella. <laughs> I don't know salmon and nella. They don't reside in this household. So yep, you put that in there. Just gonna mix it, mix it. I'm gonna let it come back to a boil. And after that, I am going to, um, I'm gonna cover it and then I'm going to let it simmer. So while that's going, I'm gonna get me a little, a little bowl for a little rice piece. I mean, a little pot for a little pot. Uh, I'm pot some dishwasher. I'm gonna be right back, y'all. I gotta wash the pot to cook some rice in here. All right, y'all, we back. So I got some water um, on the stove. This has come to a boil again with the chicken, so I'm gonna cover it. Man, this is heavy. I'm gonna cover it and then I'm gonna reduce that heat all the way down to low. <clears throat> you don't have to let it cook for a certain amount of time. You just wanna uh, make sure that, um, you just wanna let it cook until your chicken is done. It's important that right now you don't taste it because your chicken is not cooked. And um, don't y'all, cause I don't need y'all saying, y'all told me to taste my sauce and I got salmon ever, no, 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 no. What? Mm -mm. I told you not to taste that sauce. I got this water right here. I'm gonna put, um, I like to put a little oil in my water when I'm cooking rice. Not as much as when I'm cooking pasta. I just put a little bit so it won't stick to the bottom or anything. And um, I also never learned how to cook rice. Oh, Lord Jesus. To where, you, uh, to where you put the right amount of water in there and it just, when it's cooked, it's in the water. So I put it in there and I strain it. 
So um, I'm gonna let that come up to the boil and I'm gonna measure out a, a cup. I'll do a cup of rice. All right, you guys, so our rice is done here. This is done cooking. I want to just taste it for season real quick. Get into, wow, get into that pot. I mean, I can, wow. Just gonna stir that a little taint. Yes, you taste it. Mm, you can taste it, see. That's good. Mm. I think just to be authentic. Spice it up. Spicy right. dish, spicy dish, spicy dish, spicy dish. I didn't really have to put much into this. I will say that to one more. I just need some more, like a little bit more curry and then some, some more spice. So I'm gonna add a decent amount more um, cayenne for the spice. A little bit more chili powder for some spice and a little smokiness. Ooh, chili. And then I'm just gonna add a little more curry just for that. I know I said a little bit, but. Mm -hmm. I just, I love curry, my God. I guess the paprika want to be in there too, so we want to add some paprika for the smoking. Paprika. Okay, so I'm gonna stir that, let that just cook into that pot, and then I'm gonna season this rice real quick. Yes, we season our rice. If you don't, baby, go. <laughs> but if you don't, Sure. And I will just say, so sometimes I do this, I mean, for one, you can use whatever kind of, oh, that's hot, wow. You can use whatever kind of rice you, you like. We had some parboiled white rice. I usually use brown rice. Maya doesn't really care for it, so I'm using that. I like the brown rice, just not the, it was whole. You like the parboiled brown rice, that's yeah. you like. Mm -hmm. um, I also do a variation of this where I use, um, with the brown rice, and I also add quinoa in it as well, but I just do brown rice, because anybody got time for all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add, I, I thought I had the thing on there. I'm just gonna add just a little lime juice. I'm just gonna use the cap as my measurement. So if you, so I'm gonna add, my measurement is two capfuls. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of dried cilantro. That's good. A little bit of dried parsley. Mm. Bit of dried parsley. And finally, we're gonna do a little pepper. A little pep-pep. And we'll get the salt, a little bit of salt. Just a tad bit. You know, that, we don't need that too much. Like, that looked like a lot of salt, you think? It wasn't much. It was deceitful. And then, child, I put it in a little bowl with a little top, so I'm just gonna shake, shake, shake. Shake your boule. Your boule? What is the bully? It's a thing that sits behind you. Your derriere? Use those muscles. <clears throat> Just a smile for me. All right, wow, mira que nice. Esta arroz. It's the, the rice. It looks like I could use a little more herb, but. I was gonna say a little more herb. That's yeah, some parsley. I didn't have much parsley. Rice just gonna have to be sufficient. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. This boy, you shook it up in that bowl. How you shook it up? Are you trying to rice? Mm-hmm. Because <clears throat> I had to, I was trying to do it quickly. Which one we gonna take a spoon? What's that slow mo? No. <laughs> okay. That's all right, you guys. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plate it up and then we're gonna do a taste test and that's gonna be all she wrote. Mm, that rice is good. Wow. Yes. So everything done, we're gonna plate it up. One thing I did forget to mention, you know those spices that we fried up before with our vegetables? 
You wanna make sure you take a spoon and be a good chef and spoon all those out so your cinnamon sticks, your bay leaves, all that. You spoon it out. We have our bowl here. We just got some steamed vegetables. Um, that's how Maya and I like to eat it. Some steamed vegetables. We're gonna take and put a little bit of this rice in here. You don't even wanna play it up nice. You don't work so hard on your little dish. You wanna make sure make sure you play it up nice. So you get your couple spoonfuls of rice. Then take you a, a little ladle. You better put your little masala in there. Yes, get into it. Yes, Lord. Pablo Shada. Yes. And then I just like to be extra, and then I like to take and put just a little extra parsley on top just to make it look nice. No parsley. And I also take, and I just like to put a little extra lemon juice just for the. Just for the. Lime juice. I mean, <laughs> the citrus juice. And then we can taste it. Let's get to it. I'm gonna give me a little piece of, a piece of. Why well, let sis have a first, first bite? It's hot. God, we thank you. Thank you for this food, Lord, that we're about to receive. Lord God, we just thank you. Let it nourish us, habo sa. Amen. Wow. It's good. Yeah, bless you. Like his assurance. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 It's so good. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Y'all, <laughs> we're about to turn this camera off because I'm hungry and <laughs> it's food good, so. Bye, y'all. We'll catch y'all next time. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below. Hit that like button. If you made you some uh, chicken masala, make sure you let us know down in the comments. Let us know how you like it. I love it. It's nice and spicy. Um, so we'll catch y'all next time. Bye. Bye.